everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Francis and I do videos on fashion lifestyle and parenthood so today we are as you can tell from the title unboxing this Duna Likey trike s5 this one comes in the nitro black color this is the one that we got there are two series in the likey trike i'm not sure if i'm saying it right but likey leaky likey trike um, it comes in the s3 and the s5 and i believe the difference between the s3 and the s5 the s5 has wooden handlebars and um, it comes with a travel bag versus the S3 doesn't come with a travel bag and doesn't have the wooden handlebars and the travel bag is like an extra $45 if you want to purchase it. So we figured $50 more and the price difference, we figured to just get the S5, which also came with a little upgrade of the wooden handlebars. Anyway, so if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that we did um, do a Duna unboxing for the stroller car seat combo last year when my daughter was four months and she's now a year later, 16 months old. So she's a little over a year, one year and four months. We just celebrated her month's anniversary. And um, yeah, so we're excited to have this trike because We've noticed that she's been losing interest in riding in her stroller because she's more active. She's been running around since she's been 10 and a half months. And sometimes she does prefer us carrying her, um, doesn't really like the carrier. So we figured let's introduce this trike to her because obviously we love Duna. And yeah, it's obviously also parenting made simple. So let's go ahead and do this unboxing and this first look together. So we purchased um, this one through Amazon because it was um, the shipping was faster so it came in like two days and I've been reading reviews on this and saying that it's already all assembled in the everything's already assembled when you unbox it so let's just pop this open so if you didn't notice that I'm in my, our new living room in our apartment, we did relocate temporarily or maybe permanently, but yes, here on the floor. Um, so here's how it looks. It's already inside the travel bag. And I believe it's, um, it weighs about 40 pounds. So this is the travel bag. It has the Duna brand on it and the photo of what contents are inside and it has straps so it's kind of heavy for me right now but it has two straps as a backpack and I did read and I researched that you can this does fit in the overhead compartment in airplanes and it's easy to travel with and all the parts fit inside here so let's just take this out so the contents in this package is the deluxe edition, comes with a storage bag, shoulder pads, padded armrest, uh, paddle straps, wooden handlebars, the travel bag, cup holder, and the five point harness. So the Duna Leaky Trike 5 in 1, it goes from 10 to 18 months, which is this first one here with the canopy, 18 to 24, which I believe is like the push mode. This is the 24 to 30 and all the way up to 36 or 34 months or three years old. And also the folding image of the trike. So that's why it's five in one. So here is the parent control handlebar. I believe we installed this last. And there are height adjustments here. And I believe this is, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's for the back, but that's that. And then the cup holder for the child. So let's go ahead and unzip this together. So it goes all the way around. Is it a 360? No, it's just half, but here it is. Wrapped in plastic in the package. So let's just separate the travel bag, which is an awesome thing because I remember for our car seat stroller combo, we had to purchase the travel bag separately.
And here is the trike. And I believe this is the storage bag that goes on the back, which is nice too, because I think I mentioned in our do other Duna unboxing that we had to purchase all those accessories separately. And it was frustrating because it added up, but we still use that. We use it as a car seat now only um, we, for traveling. Uh, we do push her in it only in the airport and to and from the car when we obviously convert it back to a car seat. Okay, so that's the travel bag. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this, these instructions to see if there's special instructions on how to unfold it. It says the maximum load is 37 pounds and, uh, or 17 kilograms, and it ranges from 10 months to three years, which I regret not getting earlier because I think she would have loved this. So to unfold it, the canopy was down here. And then, so this is the unfolding part. It was already folded. So it's telling me to unfold it like this and it clicks. And then on the front, there is a release harness, I believe. Oh my God, I don't know, I'm tired. Front, this is the, these are the handlebars and so you, Pull it up. If you pull it up, it obviously, oh yeah, it unfolds and then it clicks. That is pretty easy. Okay, and so after that, you lift the handlebars. So let me face it. This is how it looks. Handlebars are on the side, so then you click it like the so. So easy. Um, removing the foam here. And so you can see the detail here, the wooden handlebars, which is amazing. That's very high end. This is the belly bumper. So I'm gonna turn it again to the side. This is the belly bumper. And I guess it locks here onto the handlebars. And so this is the, um, like the same material as the canopy and I believe you can change these out with the canopy and this as well as the five point harness shoulder straps. So I'm thinking, I wonder if the stroller canopy fits here, but if it doesn't, I don't think I'd wanna buy a new one because the black is very universal and they don't have pink anyway. So we did purchase the pink canopy for our car seat stroller combination. Super cute, oh my God, okay. So I'm folding the canopy and then the handlebar. So here's the handlebar just to give you a peek. This is where the handlebar goes. It's marked red and also there's these two red release buttons in case if you want to um, remove the safety bar here. So you push them at the same time and they come off. The side hasn't came off. So that's more for like, I forget which age that one is, but it's probably the push um, mode for 18, up, 18 months and up. Handlebar goes here. There's actually a pin. Whoops, I didn't take out the pin, but here's this pin that goes through the handlebar. It's, it's attached by a string and then you put this in the handlebar in and then you secure it with the pin on the side. Hopefully it's getting, you're catching that on the camera. So it's attached and you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but so as I'm moving the handlebar, you can see that it's in parent mode. So this is called the parent mode where it's controlling the front wheel. Um, and then I believe that there's another mode. I believe there's this on the front wheels of the trike that you can switch to, to switch it for your baby to control with the handlebars, wherever that is. Anyway, so there you have it. This is also, these are the brakes, I believe. 
And then what I love about these wheels is they're not as loud as the car seat stroller combination. And this one has pedals that your little one can rest their feet on or they can also be put onto, can be put onto the wheels so that they can pedal themselves. And I believe this is the cup holder for the front. And we could just attach it, just snap it on here. There you go, your little one can hydrate while they are being pushed. And also what I love is the UV protection from the canopy. And if not, you can just go ahead and detach it. There's also a rain shield, I believe, that's sold separately. But I just want to show you how this looks. Those the brakes are on. Let's release the brakes. And This is how the handle, the handlebar, the parent handlebar is, can be adjusted. So there you go. Wow, it's long. Okay, that's the longest it goes. Um, this is for when you convert it to the trike. And I'm not gonna show that here because I don't really know how to do that right now. <laughs> but also my little one doesn't need that, so. I'll leave that there. Okay, actually, I can't do this backrest. So, cause you have, you need a screwdriver to disassemble this and this part, the backrest comes up and this I believe goes in the back. So it's a little mini backrest for when baby or toddler is old enough to pedal by themselves. Okay, so that's why I'm not gonna do it now. Five point harness. This is just, this is so amazing. And the seat seems pretty comfortable too. Okay, so let me just show you how to, um, to fold it as well. So let's go ahead and put the parent control bar back, unpin it with this attachable pin, take off the handlebar. And here it says to push the front. So I'm gonna detach the cup holder and I took off the cup holder and then you detach the belly bar from here, like so. Then you pull this, press that, and then put the brake on. Duh. See, so it's turning now. Okay, because the belly bar, hello. Okay, and so the handlebars go down after I have taken out the belly bar rest and the parent control bar. So the handlebars will go down. Push this front portion, they go down. And then, and then to collapse it or fold it, there's these two buttons on either side. You push it. <laughs> Push it and it should. <laughs> so as I push these two buttons, which is kind of hard for my hands, you pull this strap back here while you do that. And then it collapses like so. Then once that is collapsed, then the belly bar goes down. Then you pull this yellow tab up and then the canopy goes down. Then, you can click this part of the canopy back this way. And then there you have it. There is a collapsible Duna trike, leaky trike S5. So let's go ahead and show you one more time how I unfolded it. So click that, put the belly rest up and then You can loosen this and have your little one steer by adjusting this little ring on the front. But even though they steer, so they can steer like this, or you can just leave it loose so they could look like they're steering, but really you're controlling the front wheel with the parent control bar. And then, yep, there you have it. And you can also, put these pedals on the wheels for when they are older. 
can go to pedal, footrest mode to pedal mode and you just go ahead. There are release buttons here on the pedals and then you can go ahead and insert them here into the wheels. Pedals for your little one if they can reach it. I don't think our daughter can reach it, um, so we'll just leave it on the footrest portion. So I'll go ahead and put that back here. Wait till it clicks and then release it here with the red buttons. So it's also easy to navigate because the red buttons are easy to um, locate, but just toss everything. Um, Aside, and this is the little storage bag that goes on the back. So, I'll show you here how it goes. There's a little slit here on the bag, and then there's a velcro bottom, so you just attach it to the parent handlebar. And you could put like your wallet, your water, or any snacks for the kid or the child, and there you have it. Look at how hip you are. You like it? You like it, Mama? Zaza? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Trying to control it. Good job, boo. So I hope <laughs> you enjoyed today's video of um, our Duna unboxing of the S5 Leaky Trike as well as the first look. I hope you do consider this and I'll let you know how it works out with our little one. Thank you so much for stopping by.